Well, losing your nearest and dearest may break your heart literally. Yeah, it turns out people are more likely to develop an irregular heartbeat following the death of a loved one. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parth Nandy, is here right now. So, a broken heart is a real thing. Yeah, I love these studies because everything we thought would happen that, you know, common sense, science is not proving it. So, here's the, here's the deal the risk of atrial fibrillation, which is a quivering or irregular heartbeat that can cause stroke and heart disease, was, guess what, 41% higher amongst people mourning the death of their partner compared to others who are not grieving. Really, the study reinforces earlier research that suggests the link between heart rhythm problems and emotional turmoil. So a pretty important study, I thought. Yeah, so when does this happen? Does it happen right after someone passes yeah. away? So the risk seemed highest 8 to 14 days following uh, a death and after which it gradually went down. After a year, the risk was similar to someone who had not had somebody dying, you know, a close member of the family. So keeping in mind that in the short term is when it's most dangerous, what can somebody do to avoid this happening? So my prescriptions, you know, when I say seek bereavement counseling for emotional stability. Stress and, uh, you know, Stress can be uh, emo stress and other emotions can really flood the body with this fight or flight hormones, and that can take a toll on your heart. Be sure to lean on support from your family and friends, and don't brave it alone. You know, we humans have a, have a real need to want to help each other, and be sure to lean on your loved ones when you need it the most. Also, encourage your loved one to get annual checkups to prevent. Also, practice relaxation, meditation, and mindfulness, and practice with your loved ones. Not only will this help you prevent deadly outcomes, these practices actually help you cope with the loss of a loved one should that occur. So basically, you get closer to somebody else, and that also helps fill that. Absolutely, and then yeah. do things to prevent the disease, you know. Good to know.